Hi, congratulations on having been nominated by your institution to come to Ghent. Before the university can decide on your final acceptance, you need to create an OASIS account and an exchange application. But don't worry, in this video I will explain every step. The most important step is starting. You can always get back to the application and add new information and documents later. Go to the website oasis.ugent.be. There, choose the option Register by creating an account. In the top right corner, change the language to English. Now, write down your email. To make sure you're not a robot, type the text in the box. Click on Register. If a screen pops up, you will have to click on Accept. First, write down your first and last name. The preferred first name box fills in automatically, but you can change it if you want. Now, choose a sex. There are more gender options in the following steps. Fill in your birth date, first the day, then the month and the year at the end. Also, write down your country and place of birth. Normally, your nationality is added automatically. If not, pick the right one. Only students with the Belgian nationality can fill in their social security number. Students with other nationalities <coughs> can skip this step. Choose a title and the language in which you want to receive correspondence. Now check the box about data processing. Click on save and continue. Now we ask for your contact details. First, write down your phone number. Make sure you add the right number in front for international calls. Do not worry if you don't have a Belgian number yet. You can add or change this later in your account. You don't have to add anything in the box Skype. Click on save and continue. Now, write down your residence address. This can be your current home address. Check the box on top if you don't have a residence address in Belgium yet. You can always add or change your address after finding accommodation in Belgium. Although the fields street and house number seem to be optional, you need to fill them in in order to proceed. After this step, click on save and continue. Check all the information in the following page. If something is wrong, go back to previous and make changes. When you're done, confirm your registration. As you can see, we are now on the home page of Oasis. You will get all the information about the platform during our welcome days. For now, go to curriculum in the left and choose the right academic year. The academic year runs until the 31st of August. So, if you're starting in August, make sure to click on the exchange button of the year we are currently in. For example, you are starting your program in August 23, then choose the academic year 22-23. If you are filling in an application for a start in September or later, click on exchange of the following academic year. Now we will start with the application. Click on New Application. First, you need to write down the starting date of the academic year. Go to Google and type in Academic Calendar UGent. Here you can see the date at which the first and second term starts and ends. Fill in the appropriate dates in Oasis for your case. Choose the correct period. Now we look at the mobility type. There are several options. We will now explain the four most common options. Choose the option Courses Inclusive Master Dissertation if you will follow classes or complete your master's dissertation or both at our university. Don't worry, it doesn't mean you have to do both. 
Another option is traineeship. Choose this if you are a master's student doing a traineeship at Ghent University. Choose the option Research if you come to Ghent University in order to conduct part of your research in the framework of your master thesis or PhD. You might do desk research, fieldwork or laboratory research at Ghent University. Select the option Blended Intensive Program if you participate in a program organized by Ghent University, you will have courses online and on campus. After selecting the right mobility type, choose your study level. Now fill in the information about your home university. Make sure the information is correct in order for you to find the Ghent University faculty you are looking for in one of the next steps. First, choose your country. On the right side, you see Search. Look for your home institute there. If you have a student number from your home university, fill it in. Then, choose the UGAND faculty you wish to go on an exchange to and give the expected period. Now, your field of study is automatically filled in. If this is not the case, you have to choose the right option. Do not worry if you are not certain. This can be changed later. If you are doing research in Ghent, choose the option Agriculture, not further defined. Choose the right funding type and click on Save. Now we are on to the final checklist. Click on your application, then go through all the check marks. You can update everything separately and always get back to it. The first thing you need to take a look at is the overview of your exchange application. This should all be filled in already. Click on update if anything needs to be changed. Next is the online learning agreement. You should initiate your online learning agreement via your home institution. Once it is signed by yourself and your academic coordinator, it will be sent to Ghent University in a digital way. You cannot upload it yourself. If it is not there yet at this very moment, please contact your home institution. Now, open the tab Motivation and click on Update. Write down a short motivation in English on why you wish to study at Ghent University. The next step is language skills. First, click on Update. You can estimate your own level. If you will follow courses at Ghent University, you have to add a certificate. In order to know the language admission requirements, go to the homepage of the Faculty of Bioscience Engineering of Ghent University. Click on Education, Incoming Students and scroll down. Here you can find all certificates that, that are accepted by the faculty. Just so you know, only if you are doing your internship or master thesis here, so not if you are doing courses, this rule can be overruled by the promoter at UGent. When you uploaded the certificate, go back to the overview. Now click on contact person and add a contact. This person will be contacted in case of an emergency. In the tab documents it is important to upload the transcript of records. This is an overview of your grades of the past study years. If you are a master's student, you need to have obtained 180 credits at the end of the academic year. So, if you currently haven't obtained them all, you can still apply. As long as you have finished all 180 credits of your bachelor degree before coming to Ghent then there is no problem. When you're done uploading, go back to Overview. 
Don't worry if you don't get a green check mark yet. It will only appear if the learning agreement above is also uploaded by your home institution. Open the tab Personal Information. Click on Update. Here you can add your gender identity. Next, add a picture. Don't forget to smile, because this will be used on your student card. Go back to Overview when you're ready. If you went through all the steps and your home institution uploaded the learning agreement, you can submit your application. There's nothing more that you can do right now. The faculty will review your application. Thank you and we hope to see you soon at Ghent University.